Hello friends, welcome to Pharmacam Insights. If you are preparing for an interview and need to brush up on analytical balance concepts, you have come to the right place. In this video, we will go through some of the most commonly asked interview questions and their answers to help you boost your confidence and ace your interview. So let's get started. First question. What are USP general chapter refer for weighing balances? So answer is there are two USP general chapters that are referred for weighing balances. First is USP 41 balances and second is USP 1251 weighing on analytical balances. Next question. What are the calibration parameters as per USP 1251 for weighing balance? So calibration parameters as per USP 1251 are first sensitivity, second eccentricity, third linearity, fourth repeatability. Next question, what are the balance calibration parameters as per USP 41 balances? So the balance calibration parameters as per USP 41 balances are first is repeatability, second is accuracy. Next question, where we should install weighing balances? Following points should be considered while installing weighing balances. First, there should be hard surface with no or minimum vibrations. Second, there should be even platform and it should allow leveling of balance. Third, there should not be any direct flow towards weighing platform because it may cause fluctuations in the readings. Next question. Why repeatability test is performed? The so answer is a repeatability test is performed to check the ability of the weighing balance to give the same results for the same object under the same conditions every time. Next question. What is the formula to calculate repeatability calculation? The so formula to calculate repeatability test is repeatability is equal to 2 into SD that is standard deviation divided by smallest net weight into 100. Next question. What is the smallest net weight? So answer is Smallest net weight means the minimum weight below which weighing is not acceptable. For example, if you have calculated smallest net weight as 20 mg, then you should not weigh any material below 20 mg. <coughs> Next question, what is the formula to calculate smallest net weight? Formula to calculate is smallest net weight is equal to 2000 into SD. This SD that is standard deviation value will be taken from the repeatability test where we take 10 measurements of test weight. When SD value is less than 0.41D then formula for smallest net weight becomes 2000 into 0.41D. Next question, what is D in the formula smallest net weight SNW is equal to 2000 into 0.41D? So, in this formula D is called as scale interval or readability, which means the least value that your balance can read. Next question, how accuracy test is performed for weighing balance. So answer is to perform accuracy test, single test weight is selected between 5 to 100 percentage capacity of balance and its weight is measured. Formula to calculate accuracy test is accuracy is equal to certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100. Next question, what is the acceptance limit for accuracy test? So answer is 
एक्सेप्टेंस लिमिट फॉर एक्यूरेसी टेस्ट इज नॉट मोर देन पॉइंट वन जीरो परसेंटेज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मच टेस्ट वेट शुड बी टेकन टू परफॉर्म सेंसिटिविटी टेस्ट तो आंसर इज वेट क्लोज टू द बैलेंस कैपेसिटी इज टेकन एज टेस्ट वेट टू परफॉर्म सेंसिटिविटी टेस्ट For example, if balance weighing capacity is 220 gram, then you can take 200 gram weight as test weight to perform sensitivity test. Next question: What is the acceptance limit and formula to calculate sensitivity test? So answer is limit for sensitivity test is not more than 0.05 percentage. and formula to calculate sensitivity is sensitivity is equal to certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100 next question what is eccentricity test for weighing balance and how it is performed for eccentricity test weight more than 30% of the balance capacity is selected and placed at center and all corners of weighing pen to check eccentricity as you can see in the figure five weights are taken first we placed the weight at center at position number 1 then we place the weight at each corners of the pen at position number 2 3 4 and 5 formula to calculate eccentricity eccentricity is equal to weight at the center minus weight at corner divided by weight at center into 100 next question what is the acceptance limit for eccentricity test The answer is acceptance limit for eccentricity test is not more than 0.05 percentage. Next question: What is air bubble adjustment and why it is done? The answer is air bubble is adjusted to the center with the help of rotating wheels provided. Due to air bubble adjustment, center of gravity gets adjusted to the center and the balance becomes stable. that wraps up our session on interview question and answers on analytical balance i hope this video helped you gain clarity and confidence for your upcoming interview if you found it useful hit the like button and let me know in the comments which questions you found most insightful also subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell so you never miss out on future videos covering laboratory techniques instruments and interview preparation tips thanks for watching and see you in the next video happy learning